Hey everybody, Mental Fox here. Welcome back to Fallout 4. I hope you're ready to get back into this. I sure am. I'm pretty excited about it. Just looking forward to playing a little bit of Fallout 4 this morning. So, welcome aboard. I hope you enjoy this play session. We're here in Fort Hagen. And in the last episode, we kind of got uh, sidetracked on another quest. And uh, I've kind of put off that quest for later. Uh, it's uh, it was some reunions quest where we're looking for somebody named Kellogg. Uh, I don't want to do that right now. I want to focus on just doing the automatron stuff. Um, and for the automatron DLC, we're on this headhunting quest where we need to proceed to Fort Hagen Satellite Array. Ada has identified the Fort Hagen Satellite Array as the location of the final Robo Brain. I should proceed out there to retrieve its radar beacon so we can finally locate the mechanist. That's what we're doing. However, um, I get easily distracted. And uh, I see over here, there's um, a spotlight. See that light right there? Ooh, there's a... Was that a bloat fly? Yeah, so... I don't think I've actually explored that uh, location yet. So, I don't know. Do I want to go over there right now? You know what? Let's not. That'll just get me sidetracked again. Let's get. Let's just head for the satellite array, and um, see if we can't get this third radar beacon piece. So how are we looking here with our inventory? Oh boy, we're getting pretty close to being full. Um. Hmm. Now well, let's see. If I were to fast travel now to go back and take care of my inventory. I could fast travel back to this Fort Hagen, right? Or even this filling station. I mean, if we look at our map, um, we've got, oh, there's the relay tower, there's a filling station here, and, there's, and then there's Fort Hagen. I don't know if there will be any other locations between here and there. So, that means uh, I would have to make a quick side trip back to uh, Sanctuary to uh, deal with my inventory. And uh, then we'll come right back here. So let's uh, let's go ahead and get that out of the way. Oh, look at this little guy. Oh, this is a Robo Brain. This is what I'm looking for. The Robo Brain, constructed by General Atomics International before the Great War, is unique in that it uses an actual organic brain as its central processor. Yeah, that's pretty crazy, right? It's pretty cool looking though. Oh, okay. How you doing, Strong? Nice to see you again. What the heck you got on your face, man? I don't remember giving you that. Okay, uh, so like I said, I'm going to take, take care of my inventory real quick. So, I will be back in just a few seconds. Okay, took care of my inventory, got it down to 76. Uh, one thing I thought of, though, um, is if you look over here, you'll see that we're missing an arm and a leg. Uh, looks like we're missing the right leg and the left arm. So, uh, let's go ahead and pick some of that up while we're here. Um... Get out of the screen. Yeah, so you can see we're missing our left arm and right leg. I think that's what I said a moment ago, yeah. Um, and what we're wearing is the T60 stuff. So I don't know if... Uh, let's see, that's... Gosh, that one's missing a lot of pieces. Let's see, do I have any T60 stuff around here? I don't think I do. Um, no. Whoa, X. Huh. I wonder if this stuff's better. X01. Hm. But I don't have the whole thing for that either. I have the right leg, the left leg, the right arm, and the torso. I'm missing the head piece and the uh, left arm. Interesting. I have a lot of uh, power armor around here, as you can plainly see. Uh, and then I have another suit in here. This is a complete suit. Oh, okay. There we go. There's a T60... Um left leg, but unfortunately I need a right leg. Okay, oh no, I only have a T45 right leg. I think I can upgrade these, right? So, let me see here. I need the right leg and the left arm, so let me take those. And then we'll go over here to the uh, power armor station. And, uh, good grief, um, we need to get this one out of the way. So let me go over here. 
Oops, uh, enter this one. Get it out of the way. I don't know why, I just left it here. Whoops, oh, I didn't want to craft it, damn it. Yes, I don't want to craft this one. I'm going to craft the other one. So... Oh, crap. Um, there we go. Yeah, I was starting to think that maybe I couldn't enter it since it was so close, but of course you can. Alright, let's move this out of the way. I need to build a new storage for uh, all of my um, power armors. This is crazy. Alright, let's exit this. And I always like to take the fusion core with me. You never know, somebody could come in here and take it, you know. Maybe constantly trying to kill us. Oh yeah. Okay. Let us uh, enter this. Not real sure how this works. I think it just uh, upgrades whatever power armor is closest. So let me exit this. I can't exit my armor here. Okay. All right, go here. Craft. Okay. So left arm. Um, modify maybe. Model A. Oh. Oh. How do I? Uh, I thought I could make this a T60, but uh, apparently I cannot. I thought I could upgrade them. Huh, I thought I saw that somewhere. I guess I can't, huh? Hmm. Well, while we're here... <laughs> excuse me, Ada. While we're here, uh, we may as well modify this. Let's see. Let's make this a model... Well, E is probably the best one, right? Um, oh, yeah. Yeah, look at my damage resist go up over here. Right now it's 180, 120, and 150. We could get it all the way up to 260 and 200 if we go to the Model E. Let's do it. Yeah, this is going to be powerful. No material mod. We could put paint on it. And we could put lead plating on it, but that... You know, it doesn't make it that much heavier. It gives us a whole lot more radiation resistance, you know? I mean, it's really it really only makes it a half a unit heavier. What else we got down here? Titanium plating. Increases the armor health. Oh, okay, it just... Okay, makes it last longer, but... Oh, explosive shielding. Reduces damage from explosions. There's, like, no number for that. Winterized coating. Increases energy resistance. Lead plating. I'm intrigued, man. That goes from 150 to 250. Not that I really spend a lot of time around radiation, but still. I don't know. That might be worth it. It's... It's only a small difference in weight. But it's, it's still a difference. Ah, screw it. Let's do it. Screw it. Let's do it. That's my motto. And then a headlamp. Okay, I have a headlamp. Hm. Um, okay. Miscellaneous mods. I have no miscellaneous mods. I guess I, I need rank 3 of science for that. Or even rank 2 of science. Targeting HUD. Visor highlights living targets. Increases intelligence. Increases vet hit chance. Removes radiation from consumed food and water. That's kind of cool. Recon sensors. Sighted aiming marks enemies with a compass pip. And sensor array increases perception. Holy cow. Oh, there's a lot of stuff you could do to this. So we might as well upgrade our uh, left arm. Oh boy, this makes it heavier too. So we're making this a lot heavier. So maybe I won't go with the uh, lead on this one since I've, I'm already making it heavy enough. And then we'll up the left arm. Oh, oh, I did that. Right leg. Model E. Okay. So this is going to be pretty uh, strong stuff, but it's also pretty stinking heavy. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Model A torso. Up to model E. Oh man, this is crazy. Okay, so everybody up to model E? Everybody's up to model E. I made this really heavy. Now, do I 
I guess I was hoping that once I upgraded these, it would repair them automatically, but apparently it didn't, so now I have to repair all of these. So we'll do that while we're here. I mean, I'll use some steel, plastic, and aluminum, that's all. We have plenty of that, right? Okay, I think we're good. Where are my, um... Oh, I haven't equipped them yes, yet, I guess. Okay, let's get in here. Yeah, I was looking at the, looking at it and I noticed I still don't have my left arm and my right leg. But uh, I need to equip those. So let's go in here to apparel and we'll equip both of these. Okay. Huh, it's interesting that it still only says 76 here. Hmm. Alright. Whatever. Alright, look at us. Oh man, we are a force to be reckoned with now. Okay, so with all that taken care of, let's uh, bring our map back up here and uh, we'll travel back to, um, let's travel back to the filling station. I don't remember seeing any resistance at the filling station, so we'll do that. And um, then we'll head up to the satellite array and <laughs> see if we could get this uh, third um, radar beacon from uh, a robo brain. Okay. Oh. Well, some gunfire over there, but uh, we're going the opposite direction, so we're just going to ignore that and walk this way. We don't need to be getting into other people's fights. There's a little house there here I don't think I've walked in before. Oh, oh okay. I thought I saw a body. Well, I'm not seeing anything in here. So there's, uh, we walked down there before. Raining. Let's see if Vats picks anything up. Nope. Let's go ahead and get out our weapon. Or a weapon. Still nothing on Vats. This place is making me very worried. I I, I don't like how it's sitting up on top of this hill. Um Machine gun turret. Machine gun turret. So this place is, is looks like, uh, what would you say, raiders maybe? Raiders doing this? Or is it super mutants? But I think it's normally raiders that do this skull on a stick business, but this one looks a little different for some reason. Hmm. This is making me very nervous. I, I don't know if I want to go right in their front door there, because that's where they expect me to come, right? So let's see if there's a back way in here. Look for a part that is uh, unprotected. Looks like the fence ends. Oh, rust devils. We've got some rust devils here. So sh should I open up this can of whoop ass? Okay, you see him? It looked like he was just getting ready to throw a grenade at me, which I don't blame him. I mean, they're way up on a hill. And, oh, there's a legendary rust devil. Okay. I need to get some cover here. Um, oh, oh man. Uh, all right, who, who are we shooting at? Is that a machine gun turret down? Ada just, she just goes running in there, man. She makes me a little bit nervous, but she's pretty badass. Oh, oh, ouch. So somebody shot me. What do we got? We got a rust devil here who's a little hard to see. Hey, you mofo. Uh, I really don't... Haha! <laughs> oh, powering down weapons? Jeez. I don't think we cleared them out that easily or that quickly. But here she comes back. Ada, you kick ass. You're awesome. Okay, we've proceeded to Fort Hagen Satellite Array. Now we need to enter Fort Hagen Hangar. Yeah, very simple, very easy, right? This was a Mr. Handy record. Let's take his fusion cells. Mr. Handy Front Warmonger Spiked Plate. Okay. I'll take the rest of this stuff. I found some spare parts. Oh, she doesn't seem to care. Uh, let's see, we got a turret over here. Goodbye. And, um... What else we got? Here is a Doom Protectron? 
Well, it sounds scary. Take some of these rounds, rounds, and a vacuum tube. Well, good job, Ada, taking that out. Sheesh. She's pretty awesome. I guess we took care of all the turrets that were here at the entrance. Well, I say we. I guess Ada did. I didn't do it. Uh, rounds. Look at this stuff hanging here. This is kind of neat. This looks like, um... A trap. Right? Doesn't this look like a trap? Like it's gonna shoot out fire? I don't see a tripwire for it, though. Oh, this is it right here. Huh, I guess it's already tripped? I don't see the rest of it. Yeah, here's the tripwire here. I guess these are already tripped. Oh, that's pretty neat, though. I wonder if I could build some of those. Alright, let's climb up here. So, there's a toy alien. I'm just gonna take it. And, uh, Mentats and some buff outs. Pretty nervous about this place. Pretty nervous. Pretty neat looking. It's interesting. What's in here? Switch to my shotgun for some close up battle in case somebody jumps out at me. Okay, nothing in here. Like a street lamp. Don't know what the hell that is. There's some strange looking stuff here. Again, I wonder what this place would have looked like if I came here before I downloaded the DLC because I think these are probably. This stuff is probably part of the DLC. Oh man, nothing in the bag. Silver pocket watch and some duct tape. Thank you. What was this? Turret way over here. Okay. A little guard tower here. Keep an eye out on whatever may be coming from that direction. Okay, just kind of getting a lay of the land here. Make sure there's nothing back here that's going to jump out at us. Hub flower. I still don't know what to do with hub flower. I mean, I, I'm pretty sure that you can craft things. Ooh, military bunker. Craft things at uh, chemistry stations with hub flowers, but I haven't bothered to do that. So we got a military bunker there. But we're supposed to enter a hangar, according to our quest here. Enter Fort Hagen hangar. Ada has identified the Fort Hagen satellite array. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. That, that text hasn't changed. Uh, Molotov. That's what he was trying to throw at me. This Rust Devil has some rounds, uh, pipe submachine gun, and then, um, this stuff has no weight. Interesting. Wait a minute. It says it has no weight, but it certainly has weight over here. What the hell? Okay, that, that doesn't make any sense. Here's some giblets. From the legendary Rust Devil. Rounds. Cavalier's Polymer Combat Armor Left Arm. Reduces damage while blocking or sprinting by 15%. Okay. Short assault rifle. Yeah, this stuff, it says it has... What is this with the zero weight business? Because sometimes I use that to decide whether I want to pick something up. But, um, like Radar... Radar... Radar? Really? Radar Leathers. It says weight zero, but... As you can see, it plainly has a weight of, a weight of one. I'm having a little bit of trouble speaking this morning. Well, let's pick everything up until we can't pick everything up no more. Oh, okay. I already looted that. I already took care of this guy. The Doom Protectron. There really wasn't too much resistance out here, right? A little suspicious. Okay. They've got themselves an armor work bench here. Ooh, here's a bay for a protectron. Here's a wooden crate with some rounds and some rat away in it. This guy had some rounds. I'm not gonna pick that up. This stuff's gonna be heavy. I'm not gonna pick this stuff up. 
We could go up higher. Let's go see what's up here. Well. Okay, let's go over here. This, uh... Oh, you know what? This guy's giblets must have been down here on the ground, and I already looted him from down there. God, where's his head? Did I blow his head off? Or did Ada blow his head off? That's gross. Huh. What is this? Rust Devil Entry Terminal. Let's see. M let's see. Rust Devils only. Might in the machine. Hangar door override. What do you want to do? Lookout duty or security door control? Lookout duty? What's that? Rust Devils. With all these mechanist bots on the loose, we can't afford to skimp on lookouts. For all we know, the bastard is planning a raid to take all our bots tomorrow. No lockjaw. This doesn't mean you can set three bots to patrol the area and take a nap. I want at least two living, breathing humans patrolling the perimeter at all times. And let me know immediately if you see any strange bot come up the hill. Ivy. Hmm. Interesting. Security door control. It's locked. Alright, let's open it. Here we go. Okay. Security lock released. Opening doors. Alright. Alright. So I opened some doors. So these doors are apparently different from the military bunker that we saw before. So, um... What's with the military bunker? Should I go down in it and check it out? Well, I think we know the answer to that, right? Let's do it. Let's save it. Let's see what's in here. How is this different than the hangar that we're supposed to go to? Or is this where we're supposed to go after the hangar? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, well this is kind of small. 